I have a lot of videos about what to do and see here in Toronto. And it's now time to talk about what you should not do during your trip to Toronto. You don't have to feel like you have to go up the CN Tower. It's the tall building that makes Toronto skyline unique and you might already have lots of pictures of it. You can pay to go up to the top, but it's not a must. You can find awesome views of the Toronto skyline from different places all around the city. Getting around by car in Toronto can be quite a hassle, so I suggest trying to avoid it whenever possible. It's not only about driving, but also finding parking can be a headache. Like in most big cities, you'll face traffic, crowded streets, ongoing construction, and pricey parking fees. It's a bad idea to grab a Presto card and use the Toronto Transit Commission instead. Public transportation is pretty solid here. They have subways, streetcars, and buses that make moving around the city much easier. Toronto isn't a budget-friendly place, living here is costly and so is visiting. It's similar to going to cities like Chicago and New York. Expenses for staying, having fun and dining out can quickly accumulate. Just like Vancouver, Toronto stands among the priciest city in Canada. Toronto is a big global city, so when you're here, don't limit yourself to only trying Canadian food. Throughout Toronto, you'll find neighborhoods with fantastic cuisine from all over the world. Think Korea, China, Italy, Greece, and more. While enjoying classic Canadian treats like Viva Tales and Poutine, make sure to leave space for the diverse international flavors that Toronto offers. Don't forget to tip, and I'm dead serious. Tipping is part of Canadian culture, and it's customary to tip around 15 to 20 percent in restaurants. Sometimes the bill may automatically include a service charge. If not, you can calculate the tip amount by multiplying 50 to 20 percent with the bill, excluding tax. Then you add the tax back to get to get the final total. It's also considered polite to tip for other services like haircuts, taxes, and bars. The amount can vary, but a typical amount might be around 10 percent, and it's ultimately up to you. Of course, please walk around as much as you can, enjoy every day and every corner of the city, follow these simple points and enjoy your travels.